Nova Calibration System. This is the typical framework of the Nova Calibration System. As is vividly depicted in the picture, there are two parts of it. The left part is Pixel Level LED Display Calibration System and the red part is LED Display Control System. Under the control of Nova Calibration Software, the camera gathers and sends the color and brightness information of every LEDs to the calibration computer with a USB cable. Then the calibration software will work out calibration coefficient. The software will send it to control computer and the control computer will send it to the receiving card. The receiving card, which is in the LED display, will save the calibration coefficient and use it to show the effect of calibration. Now we are going to show how to connect this hardware. Firstly, we connect the calibration computer to the control computer with an Ethernet cable. Then make them in a local area network. We can also use one computer to calibrate and control the LED display. Please know that the calibration computer needs an encryption lock for opening the calibration software. Then we use a USB cable to connect the camera to the calibration computer. About the camera setting. Please pay attention to that the camera should be in M mode. M means that manually adjust aperture and exposure. And there are two settings about the lens. 1. Switch the first switch to MF, which means manual focus. 2. Switch the stabilizer to off. Now we are going to show how to configure the software. In this video, we use one computer to control and calibrate the LED display. Firstly, we open the control software Nova LCT and click user to enter the password. The default password is A D M I N. Then we click calibration. This interface is used for connecting to calibration software, receiving commands from the software, and controlling the LED display. Next, open the Nova calibration software, Nova CLB, and set the same IP address. Then click Connect. Here, we need to create a database for the backup of calibration coefficient. Next, choose low if the screen is indoor. We choose the other options according to the screen tab and LED arrangement. Next, choose no if there isn't a calorimeter. The calorimeter is usually used for calibrating a screen which has different batched cabinets. Next, we generally choose the second one, chromaticity. Next, when we do calibration, we need to lower the brightness of the screen. Here we can adjust the percentage of the brightness. We usually lower 5% to 10% to calibrate a new screen and lower 10% to 15% to calibrate an old screen. Here we can also change the gamma sacrifice to high, middle, or low. Usually using a low is OK. Click Finish. That's all about initialization. Now we are going to set sub-area which is also named Partition. Firstly, we set the partition and click Generate Partition. Then select the partition we are going to calibrate and make the camera be directed at it. Please know that the camera should be adjusted to make the image clear. Next, click Connect 
to connect the camera to the software. Next, to set the parameters, we only need to click the Auto button and the software will automatically analyze the saturation of every red, green and blue LED. When the analysis is finished, the results will show normal. Then, we start to calibrate the screen. Just click Start and wait for several minutes. The calibration steps will be done automatically. As for the calibration steps, we can see the process here. Analyze red LED, analyze green LED, analyze blue LED, generate coefficients, upload coefficients, save to flash, save to database. Please know that if we calibrate another partition, we don't have to reset those settings. We just need to select it, focus a camera to it, and click Start. The calibrated partition will turn to be green, and the ongoing partition will turn to be yellow. In order to see the difference, please click the checkbox Enable Calibration. If it is checked, the screen will show effects after calibration. If it is not checked, the screen will show effects before calibration. You can also choose red, green, blue, or white color to see the different effects on LED display. That's all about this video. Thanks for watching.